Uh, the U.S. Treasury invested about $256 billion in their first series of transactions. Secretary of Treasury Paulson said when he invested it, um, this is just an investment on the part of the U.S. taxpayer. You're not going to lose your money. In fact, you may actually make money. And I sent him a letter, and the letter says, among other questions, are we getting a fair deal? For every $100 we're putting in, are we getting back stock and warrants worth $100? Secretary Paulson wrote a letter back to me, and he said, yes, these transactions are at or near par, which just means every time you put $100 in, you're getting $100 back in value. Right. Sounds fair, right? In other words, they're just using our money to try to defrost the system. Right, that's what he said. That's what he said, and he said it very clearly. Now, we could have stopped there, said thank you very much, we appreciate it, Secretary Paulson, check off the box. But we decided what we should do is make an independent investigation. And here was the bottom line. A lot of number crunching. For every $100 we put in, we got $66 back. Well, that wasn't the deal. That wasn't the deal. And here's the problem. You put in $100 and get 66 back, you do that often enough, and in this particular case, you end up about $78 billion short. That is what Secretary Paulson said was an even deal uh, missed by $78 billion. I think people have trouble with this. Maybe boiling down, you could say, it was either a dumb mistake, maybe that's overstating, but a mistake, or the people who designed it knew how it was going to go, but didn't level with we the people. I think that's right. I, I wish I could say otherwise, but I think that's right. You think they didn't level with us? I know they didn't level with us. I mean, for Secretary Paulson to describe this as a par transaction, after he had plenty of time to think about it, he didn't describe it just as a par transaction on the day it happened, back in October. It was a letter December 30th addressed to me as chair of oversight, and he said, oh yes, that's what it was, a par transaction, 100 for 100. And the numbers just show flatly it was not. 